Hi Switz fam, so this is not going to be a normal vlog. Uh, today I went and dropped my dad and my sister off from to work. When I finally did end up going to work, I was right outside of the town that I live in and I went off the road. This is the first time since I have started driving that I have crashed my car. So in Vermont, lots and lots of hills and um, the road that I go down to the beginning of my trip is mostly hills up and down and up and down for the first couple of miles and then it goes flat for a little bit until I get on to the next road uh, so I went through my town down the hill I was going up the next hill I got to the top and started going down again and my car started sliding and I knew instantly by the way it was sliding and how bad it was like fishtailing or whatever that I was not going to be able to stop it and so I, I went into the ditch and I slammed off the embankment on the other side. The other side of the road was I had just passed like a house and a barn and it was basically hills and woods um, so that was my first bit of luck that I went off on the right side of the road instead of the other side. Because if I had gone off the on the other side, I probably would have rolled my car and possibly had tree branches come through my window, which would have not been. So when I hit the embankment, I didn't pass out, which was another good thing. Because a lot of times when um, you get in an accident, you pass out, especially if you get like hit in the face or whatever. Um, my airbags deployed, which was good. Um, I actually have a little bit of whiplash on the bottom of my chin from where the airbag hit me and injured across my nose. I was wearing my seatbelt, obviously, which you should always wear your seatbelt. Very happy that nobody else was in the car with me because I wouldn't want anybody else to get hurt. Um, as soon as the car hit, um, it started, there's, um, airbags have like a fire deterrent, I guess. But it wasn't working, <laughs> or it wasn't, it like helped a little bit, but um, as soon as I hit and the engine got like compressed and stuff, smoke started filling my car coming in through like the vents, and so I was lucky I didn't black out, because if I had blacked out, I would have gotten really bad smoke inhalation, and possibly the car would have caught on fire, um, so I had the wits about me to shut off the car. Um, as soon as it hit and as soon as I realized that there was smoke coming in through the vents and stuff and I got out. I had to like unbuckle my seatbelt and get out of the door and I got out and I started bleeding from my nose so I had a really bad like bloody nose for a little bit and it was like dripping like on my hand and on my glasses because they had like fallen off my face. My glasses didn't break that was another good thing. Um, so I'm crouched next to the driver's side of my car just because I was waiting for my nose to stop bleeding enough where I could like stand up or whatever. Um, a couple of cars passed me and didn't stop. Um, and I'm not sure if it was because they didn't realize it was a recent accident or they didn't see me bending down next to the car because I was kind of like in the ditch still. Um, so I'm like, okay, you know, I'm not injured to the point where I can't, like, get up the embankment and start walking back to my house, which was, like, probably a mile, mile and a half down the road, and would have meant walking up a couple, of, <laughs> down a hill and up another hill. So I got about 30 feet from my car, and, um, somebody that was driving by stopped, and I think I kind of scared the person because when I turned around, my face, this part of my face was all like covered in blood. I had this like red mark on the bottom. Uh, <laughs> so she's like, oh my God, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm all right. She's like, what can I do to help? I'm like, can you just drive me back to my house? So um, she was a an assistant for teachers at the school um, where I live. So she was headed to work and she drove me back to my house and made sure I got in. Um, went in and told my dad what had happened. Told him, you know, I need 
I need you to help me figure out, you know, how I'm going to get this thing towed, like, off the side of the road. So he gave me the number for our repair shop, and um, they ended up directing me to another place that tows because they don't actually tow. So I called him and left a message, and he called me back and said that he would tow it and that we could talk about, like, the price of towing and everything. And he basically told me what I already knew, um, that the car is no longer good. So I have to get a new car, which kind of sucks. Wasn't planning on having to buy a new car, get a loan for a car right now. Because we're trying to fix up our house and stuff. So that'll be a couple hundred dollars out of my paycheck every month. And he basically, you know, said because of the damage to the front, because the fact that my airbags deployed, and the fact that the car was filled with smoke and basically almost caught on fire is what he told me that he, there's no way I'm going to be able to fix it. It's, I'm glad. I mean, it was scary and had that adrenaline rush from it. Um, you know, I could have gone off the wrong side and got even more seriously injured than, you know, whiplash to my face, which is basically what I have and um, basically just like a headache. I'm glad that I went off the off the right side of the road that um, my seat belt didn't break which sometimes in car accidents it does that the airbags went off like they should have and that I was didn't pass out or get like some bad smoke inhalation and that I was present enough I guess to shut off the car and get out and be able to walk um, up the road and I'm grateful that for the teacher that picked me up because it would have sucked to have to walk all the way home up a giant hill in the snow and the slush so I'm just I guess grateful to be here because <laughs> it could have been a lot worse and the funny thing is I actually had a dream that I crashed my car into um, like a something on the road that had like opened up like a sinkhole or something and that I had been ejected out of the car so it kind of was like, oh, it was prophetic this time, telling me something was coming. And I, when I got out of the car, I grabbed my backpack, which had all my um, license and everything in it. I couldn't get the keys out after I shut it off because I didn't put it in park. And then I went and told, messaged my mom and told her because I didn't want her to find out about it on Facebook. So I figured I would let my parents know before I put it on Facebook. And I didn't go to work today because I crashed my car, which sucks because I was on my way to work. But hopefully I'll be able to make up some of the hours or, you know, use FMLA or whatever. And my mom kind of freaked out on me because she's like, did you go to the doctor, to the hospital? I'm like, no. And she's like, well, you maybe you should. I'm like, Mom, I'm like, they're just going to tell me that I injured my nose and that I have road rash under here. Or whip. <laughs> Whatever you call it when the airbag hits your face. And I don't, I mean, I feel a little tightness from, you know, tensing my muscles up when I hit. But other than that, I feel fine. And I mostly laid in my bed today and just chilled because I didn't want to, like, freak out about it because a lot of times when people get in accidents it freaks them out so I just snuggle my doggies so I'm gonna put footage of the car right after this so that you can see the damage and see the airbags and stuff so that's what I'll do so you probably can't see me very well um, crashed my car this morning. I just want to show you guys guys the damage on it. Um, so, as you can see, the front of Michonne is all smashed up. Hood's bent in. It's a busted radiator. Everything inside's garbage. Even the license plate is bent. And you can see the damage underneath where I hit the embankment and there's still some plants and stuff in it. Um, so it's all bent up.
hit hard enough for the airbags to go off. See these things hanging from the top. You can't smell it, but you can, there's like smoke and stuff in the front. The rest of the car is fine. The back and stuff. I'll show you the other side. Airbag hit hard enough to make the drawer from the bottom come out. You see down there. Well, you can't see very well. Anyways, that's the drawer. Everything's all ejected. <sighs> There's the other side of Mushun's hood. Let's see if I leave this up here. It smells. So bad. Ugh. You can hold it. Crap. All right. Saying goodbye to my car. Farewell, Michonne. You were a good car while you lasted. And now I gotta go get a new one. All right. So that was the footage from my damaged car. Um, so there are a couple other things that really, really suck um, that I have to replace now besides the car. Um, my sister had just put all of our like pentatonic CDs in the CD player and they're probably not going to be able to get them out because it will make the car start smoking again and I don't want to have to risk that. Also, um, the two car seats that were in the car are no longer good, which means that I have to replace those too, um, because you can't use the car seats after an accident, even if there wasn't a child in the car seat at the time of the accident. You would risk, you know, the next accident you have, you know, a kid getting hurt. And I don't want to do that because I love my kids very much, or, you know, my niece and the little girl that I watch, and all of the other kids that I watch. Um, so I would not want to put them at risk. You know, I'm happy to, you know, have my life and still be alive and not seriously injured. And it, the sucky part of it is having to replace stuff that you don't want to have to replace. But I guess that's the good thing is that I'm well enough and not seriously injured to be able to replace that stuff. Yes, that is my first car crash experience. It really sucked, but I can see the good side of it at the same time. So trying to stay positive and not like freak out because I don't want to freak out. <laughs> Try not to. Try to just be calm and chill like usual. So thank you for watching. Um, and we will see you next time. Bye.